just go ahead and turn the camera on and chat with you guys while I do it. I'm using a standard A2 size card base that's a, you know, original opening side fold. There's the words. I have two mats that are going to go on the inside. The first one is cut at four by five and a quarter. Then the yellow one that's going to go on the inside is cut at three and seven eighths by five. I just wanted a hint of that polka dot because I'm going to use this little coffee mug that I cut out in the same paper. Then for the outside I have three mats. The first one is cut at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. The second one is cut at three and three quarter by five and an eighth. And then this ombre paper, those two are cardstock. This is just a paper. This one is cut at three and a half by four and a half. The stamp set that I'm going to use is one that I got on Ally Express. It's this little guy here. I'm thinking I'm going to do the your your goodness your terrific and then your kindness warms my heart on the inside. This is really a cute stamp set. I ordered the dies for these on Ally Express. What I'm going to do with the your terrific, I'm going to stamp that on white. Then I'm going to back it on yellow and maybe that on either a darker yellow or a blue. And then I'm just going to stamp the Your Kindness Warms My Heart on this yellow piece here. I'm going to be using more of what I have as opposed to going out and buying more and more and more and more. You guys are just really appreciated by me. Um, I know some people say that and then don't show it, but it's my hope to one day show how intensely grateful I am to you guys for taking that little bit of time to spend with me, you know. That's something else I'm going to work on this year. If I'm going to stop saying um and you know as much. I say that, those two, way too many times. Since I'm going to pop my sentiment up on foam, I'm going to go ahead and attach all of these to the card base. I'm going to glue this all the way down because this guy here is so dainty, I'm afraid it'll get torn if I don't. Since I glued that all the way down, I'm thinking I might put this like down here toward the bottom. Right there. And I'm going to use VersaFine Onyx Black to stamp this. I've had some really good luck with Ally Express stamps. Now they're silicone. They're not photopolymer, unfortunately. And you have to be real careful of spelling. Always check it before you get it. You know, before you buy it. Because I've gotten two stamp sets that were that had misspellings in them. And it costs more money to send it back than it does to just keep it. Of course the people that I bought bought it from they were real good about replacing them, so that was pretty cool. 
This is a one and a half inch punch. Now I have a two inch scalloped punch. I don't know if this paper is big enough. Looks like it. I'm going to take my yellow ink pad. This one's one by Ranger. It's an all purpose. And I'm just going to go around the edge of this just a little bit. I know you wouldn't typically have whip topping on a T, but that's all right. I can fix it. The stamping tool that I use, you can't get anymore. Um, because they were all pulled off the market, I think for, I think the patent for the Misty was in the process when Hampton Art jumped out and said, we're going to make this, so they did. What I don't understand is if Hampton Art can make it and sell it for so much less than the Misty, then why is the Misty so stinking expensive? I never did buy a Misty because of the price point. Put it on this side because if I put it over here, it lessens how much room I have to write in. I'm going to try using some of these three drops. I have the Nouveau in White Blizzard, Ruby Slippers, and then this is Zaz. And I don't think it has a color on it. Just really pretty blue. I know that. These will flatten out. So typically what I do with these in particular, because they flatten out, I come back after they've dried and put another layer in on top. If you don't know, Nouveau drops, um, they hold their shape. They don't flatten out like traditional uh, stickles and other glue dots. See, like all of those will flatten out. They won't stay domed like the Nouveau drops do. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I certainly appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.